Welcome. Thank you for joining me for practice. I'm going to ask that you find a comfortable seat. This can either be on the floor, on a meditation cushion, or it could be in a chair. What's most important is that you'll feel your sitting bones rooting down into your seat so that your spine can remain tall. You may even imagine with every inhale that the spine is growing taller from the tailbone all the way up through the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Your eyes can remain soft and open, or you can close them at any point. And we'll bring the attention to the breath, specifically allowing the inhales to feel as though they're filling the front of your lungs, as if the belly could fill a third, and then your chest fills two thirds allowing your exhales to empty in the same order of the belly emptying first and then the chest emptying. At any point, we'll shift that attention to the back of your lungs, feeling as though your lower lungs is filling, the lower back, and then your upper lungs are filling about two thirds. Exhales will empty in the same order, lower back, and then upper back. Having now felt the breath in both the front and the back of the lungs, we'll attempt to fill both equally. You might imagine this is as if you were pouring water into the center of a glass. The water would radiate to the edges of the glass as it fills the bottom and then eventually rises all the way up to the top and your exhales will be as if you tip that glass over and the water would pour out of the bottom and then rush all the way out through the top. Just a few more moments of feeling this capacity of your breath, lower lungs rising to the top of your lungs, feeling the front and the back. And then we'll start to bring the breath back into the lower front of your lungs. So allow your next several inhales to specifically fill the belly. And with the exhale, you'll draw the abdominals into your spine, drawing the navel in so it pushes the breath out. Continue to feel where the inhale expands the abdomen and the exhale, you pull the navel into the spine to push the breath out. You may find this is helpful to bring your hands to your belly so you can feel where the belly expands into the hands. And the exhale, the hands could push the belly in to help push the air out. This will start to create a pumping action where each inhale will just be a natural occurrence because of the snap of the exhale. If you can maintain this, you're welcome to reach your arms out and open to a V allowing your palms to be open so that if grace were raining down from above, you would be open and available to catch it. And just continue to pump the exhales. If you're able to find a nice even rhythm, you can start to increase the tempo, moving faster and faster. Notice if you're running out of breath, if the inhale is not filling you back to take each exhale rebounded right behind. And you can always change your tempo in order to be able to find that. Just keep it pumping. And those of you who are able to move faster and faster, keep finding that where you can move faster and faster with each exhale. We'll think we're starting to approach the finish line, so you can start making your final sprints toward that finish line as fast as you can go for these last 10 seconds or so. And we're making our last little approach to the finish line for four, three, two, one. Take a huge inhale, fill it all the way up to the top. We'll bring your chin to your chest as you cut off the airway, resting your hands on your knees for a moment. And when you're ready to release that, bring your hand, your head up, and you could just take an inhale, returning to your breath. 
we're immediately going to start to move to some cows and cats. So every inhale, you're going to lift your chest toward a cow. And every exhale, you're going to round your back and look into your navel. Just continue to pump the inhale and the exhale now. Inhale is an extended spine where you lift your chest and look to the ceiling. And the exhale is a rounded back where you sit back on your seat and look into your navel. You can move this slow if you're lining up the breath with the movement, but once you have it lined up, try to move faster, creating more and more heat, more and more friction, striking the match. You can keep going as fast as you're able to, but at some point we're gonna to start to circle around this heat. You can imagine that you have a pole that's sitting in the middle and you can start to stir around that pole, inhaling and exhaling, still lining your breath up with the extension and the flexion. If you've stirred in one direction for a little while, go ahead and switch directions at any point, stirring that heat around in the other direction. Continuing to line the breath up with the movement. Inhales with extension, exhales with cat pose with rounded flexion. So now you have three techniques. You can move through any of them that you're ready to. If you want to create more heat, you go back to the cow and the cat, back to the striking of the match. If you notice that you're getting overheated, you're becoming agitated, then you'll look to stir that heat around once more, just circling around your cows and your cats. Try to just keep it moving. Whichever technique you want to work with, just try not to stop. Moving slower when that's appropriate, moving faster when you feel ready to generate more heat. Generating friction, generating heat, and stirring that heat around. Noticing if you've lost the attention to lining it up with the movement and slowing it down when you need, speeding it up when you're ready, inhaling and exhaling, choosing the technique that's right for you. If you get lethargic and confused, go back to generating heat. And if you get agitated and overheated, stir that heat around. Just keep it moving. You have a little less than a minute to go. So know that you're starting to make your final efforts in whichever direction that is. And at some point in the near future, you'll bring it back to the cow and the cat so that you're making your final approach to the finish line, your final sprints as quick as you can go for these last 20 seconds or so. Seeing how fast you can go for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, as quick as you can go. Three, two, one. Big inhale, fill it all the way up. And then in your exhale, bring your chin to your chest, cut off the airway, pull your navel into your spine on that exhale. Hold yourself empty just for another moment more. Whenever you need to take an inhale, you can slowly lift the head and just take that inhale as you're ready. Take a nice, a few nice slow breaths in between, feeling the capacity of your inhale and your exhale before we move to the next technique. As you're ready, you can reach your arms out to a T and then you'll look to interlace your hands behind your back with your palms open as if your fingers were all interlaced like a tennis racket. And we'll go back to that pumping of the exhale that we did, that breath of fire. <laughs> and now you're pumping your wings as you're exhaling, as if you're fanning the flame that you've generated. Just keep pumping that exhale, allowing the inhale to be as natural as you can. <laughs> Keep that pump going, lining it up where you are fanning everything off, just making faster and faster exhales as you're able to maintain 
This last several moments here, we're only going to stop for a moment, so just keep that pump for about five, four, three, two, one. You'll take a nice big inhale, reach your arms out to the side, and we'll bring your hands to your shoulders so that your hands will cup your shoulders and you'll move right back into that same breath, pumping the exhale <laughs> and continuing to fan. Now that your arms are a little bit freer, you might be able to fan a little bit faster. Maybe you can move the exhale a little bit faster. Just keep exhaling, keep pumping the exhales. <laughs> Listen to the own pace of your own breath as you keep pumping that exhale. We only have about 20 more seconds to go, making your last little efforts. Five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale. Fill it all the way up. Bring your hands back to your knees. Bring your chin to your chest as you hold that inhale for several moments. And when you're ready to exhale, lift your head. Take the exhale and take a few nice slow breaths in between, feeling the capacity of the front and the back of your lungs, feeling the bottom all the way up to the top. And we'll prepare to move into the next technique. You'll come back to that interlace behind your back where your fingers are interlaced like a tennis racket and the palms are open. And we'll move into an inhales and exhales in Bastrika. As you inhale, we'll twist off to the right and as you exhale, we'll twist to the left. Just continue to inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Similar to the cow and the cat, except now it's a twisting action. Inhaling and exhaling as quick as you're able to line it up with the movement. You're going for a little less than 30 seconds here. Just continue to keep that pump going. Inhaling and exhaling, twisting to the right and the left. We'll imagine that you're climbing a mountain and you're getting higher and higher up the mountain as you continue to circle around so that as you continue to pump those inhales and the exhales, you're just twisting around the mountain over and over, climbing higher and higher and higher. These last five, four, three, two, one, take a nice big inhale, reach your arms out to the side, and we'll immediately bring the hands so that they cup the shoulders so that we can go right back into the twist. Inhale to the right, exhale to the left, and keep pumping. Inhale and exhale. As you get higher, you might go a little faster. You're circling the mountain so it gets narrow and narrower. You can move faster and faster. The altitude is getting harder and harder to breathe, so breathe a little heavier. Breathe deeper. Bring more oxygen in as you continue to twist. Finding this as much intensity as you can for these last 20 seconds or so. Pumping inhales and exhales. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a big inhale, reach your arms out to the side, back to a T. And then we'll interlace your hands behind your head and you'll continue to pump inhales and exhales, twisting to the right on the inhale, exhale on the left as fast as you can go. Breathe as quick as you can. This last several moments of pumping. You're almost at the summit. See how deep you can breathe. Inhale, exhale. It's your last effort. How fast can you go for these last 30 seconds?
for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, approaching the finish line for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, big inhale, fill it all the way up to the top, hold it as you bring your chin to your chest, you bring your hands to your knees, cut off the airflow. When you're ready to take an exhale, bring your head up, release that exhale, and calm, slow inhale that follows, returning to normal breathing that finds as much capacity as you can as it fills the bottom all the way to the top, radiating forward and backward, finding complete exhales, and calm but full inhales. Sitting with your breath for the next several moments, feeling as much capacity as you can. And just following the path of your own breath. We'll begin bringing the attention specifically back to your inhalations. 
And if at any point you need to change your seat, that's always welcome. We'll look for each inhale to grow a bit deeper. Still trying to find the same capacity, front and back, bottom and top. And then it'll start to increase in intensity. So each inhale will follow the previous one a little bit faster. Exhalations will just remain relaxed. Big inhale follows right behind. Exhales just relaxed. One right after the other. Big inhale. Exhales relaxed. Big inhales. Relaxed exhales. Keep going. Allowing the exhale to be more and more relaxed. Whatever escapes, escapes on its own. And the inhale is always imposing itself right behind the next exhale. So it's as if you've been sitting at the top of that mountain for a while. You need to bring oxygen in. So really suck it in as big as you can take it. a few more as big as you can take them big inhales relaxed exhales several more depending on how fast you're going we'll take about three or so more after the exhale you're just going to stop you'll just remain relaxed after one of your next exhales just stop and then try to stay empty after that relaxed exhale no need to squeeze anything, just be right there. Completely relaxed without taking breath in for a few moments. Whenever you need to take an inhale, just take that inhale as calmly as you can and return back to the normal slow breathing that you worked with.
Okay. Remaining relaxed, we'll prepare to move into some alternate nostril breathing, or Nadi Shodhana. So for this technique, we'll be using your right hand. Traditionally, you would tuck your index and your middle finger into your palm as you bring your right thumb to close off your right nostril. So you can take an inhale exclusively through the left nostril. And when you're ready to take an exhale, use your ring finger to close off the left nostril, opening the right and exhaling through the right side. After the exhale, you'll inhale through the right side and you'll use the thumb to close off once again, opening the ring finger to exhale through the left side. So you'll always inhale through the side that you just exhaled through, and you'll only be switching sides when it's time to exhale. If you find that this pattern is easy for you to maintain, you might imagine that you're filling the opposite lung to the nostril that you're inhaling into. So this would mean if you're inhaling into the left nostril, you're imagining the right lung is filling. And then when you're ready to exhale, you'll empty out that whole right side, nose and nostril, before inhaling into the right nostril while filling the left lung. Just continue with the pattern using whatever is helpful for you. And let's say one of the next times that you exhale through your left nostril, you'll just release that hand all the way back down into the lap. And then we'll be using your left hand, using the left thumb to close off the left nostril as you inhale through the right side. And then using the ring finger to close off that right nostril as you exhale through the left side. Inhaling through the left nostril, and switching sides when it's time to exhale. Once again, keeping the pattern as simple or as complex as is helpful for you. One of the next times you take an exhale through the right nostril, you might release the hand, but imagine that you could continue with the Nadi Shodhana without the help of the hand, inhaling through that right side, and then exhaling out of the left nostril. You can continue with the Nadi Shodhana without the help of the hand, for as long as it's helpful. And at any point that you would like to drop that anchor, just focus on the inhale through both nostrils and the exhale through both nostrils. No longer worrying about capacity of your breath, and rather just allowing the attention to rest on the breath without feeling a need 
to control it. We'll be here for the next several moments. Anytime you notice that your attention is taken elsewhere, just bring it back to your breath. If you need other anchors, you could label every inhale with the silent thought of the word inhalation and every exhale thinking the word exhalation.
we'll begin to take several deeper intentional breaths. And you can bring your palms together to rest in a prayer position so that we might take a moment to give thanks to yourself for taking the time out for our practice. Thanks to those who support your practice and to any divine consciousness or cosmic coincidence that gave you a body in which to practice. Thank you very much. Namaste.